So here we are, the sun's setting down and it's getting a little cooler out here. So I thought I'd come out here and take a look at these uh, tomatoes and see if we can get a little bit done to them on the night. And then we'll uh, carry on with it tomorrow. So they've started to get a little bushy, a little crowded. There's one right here that's not doing as well as the others. A couple down here on the end. This one right here. Not sure what's going on with her, but she's just not doing well. So these are the Abe Lincoln. Most of these are one of my favorite tomatoes. And then we switch right down here, and I think there's three uh, right here that are Marglobe. Another great tomato, and then I think these are the cherry tomatoes. Just great for salads. These couple right here on the end are our special garden treats. They're grape tomatoes. They grow about the size of your thumbnail and they never make it to the house. They stay right out here and get eaten as we work in the garden. This whole row right here is the saucing tomato. It's a variety of Roma. You can see it's real bushy. There's that one that was not doing so hot. So we're gonna prune around on it and give it a little special treatment. And we're gonna just see if we can get these kind of taken care of here this evening. We'll see where we get tonight. So we've trellised these up pretty good already with the, they've already been tied back once, but we need to get in here and trim them all out. So I'm gonna to try to do this a little bit while I hold the camera. I'm not sure how well I am at doing this one-handedly. So we'll try it and we'll see. Right in here, we we'll can kind of just show you inside. The main goal is to get these things off the ground to start with. So, I'm gonna prune some and we'll see if we can get it here. So I'm not so good at the one-handed approach. So I've got this one pruned back pretty good. I don't know if you can see it in here. Kind of broke her away and retied her up. So she's all clear underneath the bottom. Now she's really gonna to start to climb up. So I'm gonna do this and I'll show you a few here in a minute. Well, there's a shot at uh, the Abe Lincolns. Raylan's working on the Romas right now. You can see I've gone down through here. I'm up to the Mar Globes. So we've got pretty good, a pretty good cleanup underneath them. There's a tomato right down there on the bottom of that one. There's a tomato down there on the bottom of that one. Those are probably from little blooms they had during transplant, I'm gonna guess. Who knows? We're gonna wrap this up for this evening while we're losing our light and we'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Well, as I said, we were gonna come out here first thing tomorrow and that today's tomorrow. So we have come out and um, worked out here on the tomatoes. We finished those up. We worked on the tomatillos. They were in the same condition, needed some trellising. Uh, the strings were there. We had already done one kind of a cross wire type trellis. It wasn't working very well. So we went ahead and did the same type of trellising on as we did on the peppers with the poles and the string so uh let's take a quick look and see what we, we have so there's here we are with the tomatoes this is the back side of the uh abe lincoln's 
you can see they're all picked up really nice I mean they just really look good you get down here show you how they're just kind of up off the ground everything looks really good uh, down here same thing now on the cherry tomatoes and over here on these little grape tomatoes one thing I didn't mention before is that we don't uh, want to prune those I mean they're off the ground See that was a shadowing. They're off the ground. If you look down the row, that's the Romas. The big difference between the Abe Lincolns and the Romas, they're both determinate, or excuse me, they're non-determinate varieties of tomatoes. So they will produce an undetermined amount of tomatoes. They'll continue as long as the weather will let them and the season and the water and they're healthy, they'll keep making tomatoes. Whereas the Grape tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes are both uh, a determinate variety. So if you prune off the, the buds, then you're actually pruning off tomatoes and it won't make any more. So it makes that determined amount of tomatoes. You can see the peppers have picked up, uh, looking strong. How beautiful is that? You can see over here, let me get to this row. You look down here and you can just see peppers hanging down from the bottoms of those plants. Here's a little trip, uh, treat right here. This is the banana pepper. And you can see some beautiful banana peppers already growing right along. And then right over here is the tomatillos. And again, they look a little bit uh, thinned out quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if I had shown you a picture of those before, but they were on the ground and bushy, and uh, you can see that they've picked up a lot. Let me get over here to them. That's our worm bin. I'm going to have to show you guys in there later on that. So we use to fertilize. Worm tea, compost, worm castings. So you can see here they're really looking good and healthy, and then these plants right here just covered and tomatillos lots of tomatillos so a tomatillo if you don't know very similar to the tomato but it grows inside of these husks so they're protected by these husks right here so if you were to say it's real light they're very delicate but if you can once one grows along I'll show you one in fact uh, let me see if I can See if I can find a all right, right here. This is a casualty of pruning. So let me see if I can open this up and show you guys what's inside. So right here, that's a tomatillo. Now this, of course, is a very small one, very mature still. But you can see that tomato a tomato-like fruit that's inside of this uh, protective thin thin skinned husk so that's it for this weekend um, it's Father's Day this weekend so we're gonna go spend the rest of the time with our family to uh, all you fathers out there Spend lots of time with your kids. Give them big old hugs. I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.